Hi guys, it's Jill, and today I'm filming a saddle pad collection video. This is actually a super requested video for whatever reason. I'm gonna get started starting off with um, some shout outs from sponsors. I have my Total Saddle Fit half pad. Um, I actually really like this half pad. It's super nice and fluffy. I'm going to do my everyday riding pads first. The reason that I have all of them home is because I have to wash all of them, but by the time they're clean, it'll be dark out, so you're getting a dirty pad video. It's fine. Let me see if I can keep count. One is this baby blue with pink piping. It's PRI brand. I really like it. I use it all the time. And I always cut these things off because I have a mono flap and they bother me and no one uses them anyway. So it's just a plain saddle pad. This is a classic equine pad. It is really gross. It's extremely old. Um, but I mean, I, I only use my pads once and then I wash them because it's been really hot lately in the winter. I'll use them two or three times, but nobody likes wearing a dirty shirt. And it's got some like random like orange spots from what, I don't know. Three is a Dover Saddlery, just a hunter grain pad with some gold trim. My trainer actually just gave me this pad. I found it in the barn and I was like, can I have that? And she was like, sure. Number four is this pad that I got from my local tack shop. And this is how much they care about English people. Why is that so big? I've used it like maybe seven times. This is like a fallback pad. Saddle pad is a Centaur brand. Um, I really liked this when I bought it. It has like uh, teal, cream, and brown. Uh, piping there and then it's just got brown trim. Number six is a equine textile saddle pad. This was left by somebody that moved and I was like it's a saddle pad and I make fun of it all the time <laughs> but I ride mares now so. Lots of questions about this saddle pad. It is a Roma saddle pad. Um, it also got left at the barn. Uh, it's got brown trim, white piping. It's just a nice little saddle pad. Oh good, my cat's throwing up outside. Better out than in! It's one of those like, you know, it's supposed to add texture or something. I don't know, it's a breathe pad, something, I don't know. Had it forever. Classics 3 pad by Toklet. It says Jill Therese, it had the name of my first event horse, which was Dragonfly. Uh, it's a really well-made saddle pad. Like, it's really nice and comfy and it's, like stiff and it's white on the inside. It's real nice. So I have like three or four of these PRI saddle pads that are Pacific Rim International. Yeah, that's my case. You wanna focus on it? I'm getting irritated. <laughs> it's just red, fancy. This is held up for so long. And I also have a blue version that I really like to use on Ghosty. Everyone says it looks really nice on her. Also, if you noticed, I don't have a single dressage schooling pad because poor. <laughs> then I have a massive polypad um, brand polypad, and it's a big floofy saddle pad. It's really thick. Um, I actually really don't like them because they slip. This is pad number 13. Uh, it's a USG. I don't know what that stands for. It's a USG pad. This is my least favorite shape of pad because like, what saddle? I asked my mom, to bleach the saddle because it was dirty and now it is orange. So I, that's my backup show pad. I've colored in the black trim with Sharpie many times. <laughs> Another one of my favorite pads is my Millbrook Leathers pad. They monogram my name on there for me. Uh, it's just a horse brand pad and uh, it's just simple white and I love it. Then another one of my favorite pads is my Retired Racehorse Project Queen OCGB that has the retired racehorse little logo thing down there. I actually keep my show pads in a mattress container. It has a little handle so that all my show pads can get dirty. Or uh, a comforter bag, that's what it is. My newest uh, show jumping pad is white with burgundy trim. It's just a small, I think it's the Smart Pack all-purpose pad. I really like it. It doesn't even come with the stupid flippy floppies. So it just has the one. The next pad is a, wow, this does, okay, this is dark. This is burgundy, this is not pink. I don't know what this raspberry color the camera's doing is, but it's burgundy, I promise. And it says Dover Saddlery. I use this for cross country until I can get the burgundy eco gold that I want so badly. I actually got these next two pads at Rolex. Um, they're Eos brand. 
but I got this pad for like $30. It's like felty feeling. This is an actual dressage pad. This is the pad I show in. I have a black version. It says full dressage. They have matching polos to go with them, but I, he threw up like twice. He doesn't throw up very often, 14. Dover poly pad. Um, I got this when I was in North Carolina for the very first time, like in 2014. It's just white. It's a poofy pad. I actually like the Dover ones better just because they're not as poofy. So it's not as frustrating. <laughs> it's got an accent mark. I don't know if I can pronounce this. It's either Letia or Litia. Litia. Spelled like that. Letia collection. I don't know. Latia collection. It is just a dressage pad. It's got this like little weather relief thing that I don't understand. Like that's so unnecessary. <laughs> just my old dressage pad. But yeah, that is all my pads. As I put them back, I'm going to count. I have 21 pads. That is my saddle pad collection. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video or found it entertaining or something. Now I am staring at the cat's vomit. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if there are any other videos that you guys would want to see. Please make sure you leave a like. Comment what you want to see next. Do you have any other ideas? Or is there anything else that you want to see next? Make sure you hit subscribe. Check out my Instagram, which is Jet Eventing and Jet Eventing Raws. I have two. One is for just like randoms and the other is my main account. I own make and make gifts and I think they're fun. So check out jetaventing.tumblr.com and that is my horse one. And I think that does it for social media. Just kidding, just kidding. Uh, lastly, check out my Jet Eventing Facebook page. I just made one of those. Um, trying to be a little professional about my things. I deleted Twitter and I deleted Fahoto, so I'm off of those two. All of my pages everywhere. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. That's so gross. Why did you throw up everywhere?